Hi, for this recording, I will show you how to do example 4.18 using calculator. Convert decimal number 83579 to hexadecimal. Now, the method to do this is to keep on dividing 83579 by 9 by 16 and get a remainder. So, in this case, uh, what you can do is if your calculator do not have base end calculation, then you can keep on divide by 16 by doing this mixed calculation, mixed fraction. For example, you press 8, 3, 5, 7, 9, divided by 16, equal, you got a fraction. Now I convert this to a mixed fraction. Shift. You get 5, 2, 2, 3, and 11, 16. And this is where you get 5, 2, 2, 3 here. 5, 2, 2, 3 times 16. Plus the remainder is 11. Alright. Next, we are going to do divide 5, 2, 2, 3 there by 16 again. So let's look at 5, 2, 2, 3 divided by 16. This time, convert to mixed fraction. You'll find that this is 3, 2, 6, and 7, and six, 7 out of 16. So that's why you get 3, 2, 6, and 16 plus 7 is equal to 5, 2, 2, 3. Uh, next, we're going to divide 3, 2, 6 by 16. Uh, 3, 2, 6 divided by 16. You got a fraction. Then convert this to mixed fraction. Get 20 times 20 and 3 over 8. Now, we need to get base equal to 16. So notice that this is 20 times 16 and this is 6 now instead of 3 because note that 3 over 8 is the same as 6 over 16. Now that is why the 6 come from. Alright. And then Next, I'm going to divide 20 by 16. So 20 divided by 16, we know that this is 5 over 4. Convert into mixed fraction is 1 and 1 quarter. Notice that's so why I get 1 times 16. 1 quarter is how much? 1 quarter is same as 4 over 16. And this is where you get a number 4 here. Okay? Eventually, you Take 1 divided by 16, you get 0 times 16, the remainder is 1. So I have all this calculation already by using mixed fraction. If your calculator do not have any base and calculator, calculating function. So when you convert to 83579 to hexadecimal, means 83579. Base 10 is equal to you move up which is one four six seven b the reason i use b because 11 is hexadecimal digit b